Namaste, my name is Chantelle. Welcome. Today I'm going to be taking you through a general Hatha yoga class. Um, before we begin, I'd just like to um, refresh our memory that yoga is non-competitive. Um, please, if you feel any pain in a pose or it doesn't feel right, just come out of it. You don't have to do every pose. Um, this is your unique practice, um, so please do what feels right. So to begin with, we're going to start with the breath, which is a foundation to our practice. Bringing one hand onto the collarbones, one onto the abdomen, gently closing your eyes, and just start to soften the muscles around your face. Just relax your shoulder blades down and just start to soften your hips into the mat. Just take three nice deep conscious breaths, tuning into your surroundings, becoming aware of any sounds, or smells connected to your environment. And what we want to try to do, we want to start to draw our awareness from our external surroundings more internally. So just putting all those different roles and responsibilities that we have in our life, just to the side, they're all going to be there, but by taking this time out to practice we're going to be able to show up in our life in a, in a new way, in a refreshed way with more clarity, more balance. So just turning inwards and just scanning your body from the crown of the head, working down towards the toes, and just noticing where any tension is in your body. We're not trying to judge it, we're just simply observing. So let's start now to influence the breath by drawing it down to the navel, letting the navel expand out softly into your hand and then draw that breath up through the middle portion of your lungs, which is near your rib cage area. And you'll notice that your rib cage will move away from your spine and then let the breath draw up into the upper lungs, the collarbones will rise. And then just simply relax the chest, allow the breath to empty from the upper lungs, moving back down through the middle portion of the lungs, and then ending in the base of the lungs. Draw the navel back towards spine, and take a pause, and then start the cycle again. So maybe you're having an experience now that you're trying to slow down and connect within a little bit more. You're really starting to notice the mind and how it's trying to distract you and draw you away from your practice. When you notice that the mind has pulled you away, don't get frustrated with it. Just gently guide it back to the breath and just continue to do this as we move throughout our yoga today. So continue with a few more nice, deep, long, relaxing breaths in and out. If you're new to this complete yoga breathing, this three-part breath, it can take some time to get familiar with it. So what I want you to try and cultivate is just slowing the breath down and just trying to lengthen the breath. And this is a really nice foundation to build upon. One more nice breath. Now personally, I like to add a mantra to my breath before I move into the physical aspect of yoga because I find that these mantras um, help to draw my mind away from all um, the activities that are there in the mind so that I'm able to move through my practice with greater awareness and more intuition. So the yoga sound that we're going to do is Om Hari Om. So we're going to inhale, saying the sound silently in the mind. And then as we exhale, we say it out loud, Om Hari Om. So let's exhale together. And inhale. And one more time, exhaling. Inhale, say the yoga mantra in the mind. 
And out loud. Om Hari Om. And again. Om Hari Om. Three more times, moving your own pace. Om Hari Om Hari Om Last time, inhale Om Hari Om Wonderful, I don't know about you but I'm feeling a lot more centred and ready um, to move into the physical aspect of yoga. So let's get started. Bring your hands into prayer and we're going to interlace those hands and we're going to allow those elbows to rise up. As we exhale, we're going to press the hands out in front of us and round through the back. Inhale, draw the hands up to the sky and soften through the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, we're going to side bend over to the right, making sure that we're planting those sitting bones onto the mat, really extending through those fingertips. Inhale, up. Exhale, over to the left. Inhaling up. We're going to move into a gentle twist now, over to the right, opposite hand to opposite knee. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling up. And we're going to interlace our hands behind our back, squeezing through our shoulders, opening through the chest. Great, let's do that one more time. Inhaling. Exhale, pressing out in front of us. Inhale, up to sky. Exhale, side bend. Inhaling up and exhaling. Inhaling. Gentle twist. Inhaling up and exhaling to the opposite side. Inhaling up and exhaling. Interlace those hands behind your back, squeezing through your shoulders, opening through your chest. Take a few nice deep breaths and exhale, releasing. Bring your hands onto your shoulders now. We're going to inhale, draw the elbows together and open and up through the chest. Really nice big circles, really getting some mobility flowing through the shoulder region here. And then back the other way. Great. So we're going to take our left foot now and we're going to cradle it. So depending on your range of mobility, you might be supporting the ankle and the knee with the toes flexed back, or you might be able to use the creases of your elbows. We want a nice lengthened spine and we just want to rock from side to side. This is a fantastic pose for releasing tight hips. So I think because of modern life, we're always sitting down and we really get jammed up through this area. So it's a really nice one to do. So just rocking from side to side and then releasing and then over to the opposite side. And then releasing down. Then we're going to come onto all fours. So making sure that if our shoulders and our knees are underneath our hips, which is about two fists apart, yeah? Okay, so we're gonna soften the abdomen down, broaden through the chest, lengthen out through the crown of the head. And then we're gonna draw the navel back towards the spine and round through the back. Inhale. 
and exhale. Just continue to link movement with breath. Take care not to jar the back of your neck here as you come through. We really want to lengthen out through the neck. A few more times. And then coming back to tabletop, we're going to release our hands all the way to the front of our mat. And we're going to start to draw our shoulder blades back and grounding the forehead onto the mat as we come into puppy dog. So this is an option for you if you want to move into this pose when we move into full down dog. Just take your awareness through the spine area. Draw the breath to this region and just really help to soften with the breath. Inhale, lifting our gaze, bringing our hands, one hand space closer into the body. Curl the toes and then lift the knees. Then we're gonna draw the abdomen back towards the thighs. And then we're gonna extend up, lengthening through those hamstrings and coming into our downward facing dog. So it's kind of like an inverted V, what we're trying to do with our body. Visualizing that someone's got their hand in between your shoulder blades and they're guiding the torso back towards the thighs. So just release one heel down at a time, just exploring how your hamstrings feel. Just walking those heels down and then coming back into your down dog. We really want to be activated through those arms. It's a great pose for our spine amongst many other things. It's one of my favorite poses. And then we're going to lower our knees, hovering it off the ground and then drawing up to our down dog and lower the knees just starting to warm up through the thighs and then into our down dog lowering down and down dog a few more times And then coming back to our down dog. And now we're just going to step or walk our feet to the front of the mat, coming into a standing forward fold. And then slowly inhaling up, take those hands up to the sky, inhale, and then draw the hands back into prayer position. Great. Now we're just going to move into some gentle sun salutes just to energize the body. Um, so please join in. Take it at your own pace. So we're going to inhale our hands up. Exhale, we're going to come into forward fold. Bend those knees for any sensitivity through the lower back. Just allow the crown of the head just to release down towards the ground. We're going to bring our hands onto our knees, lengthening out through the crown of our head and the sitting bones, kind of like making a number seven with your body. Inhale, exhale, releasing. We're going to draw that right left foot back. We're gonna ground that left knee and we're gonna inhale and draw the hands up to the sky. Now just a little bit of safety here. So we want the back of the knee to be lined up with that heel. Inhale, bring the hands into prayer, inhaling up. We're going to ground those hands, curl the back toes, lift the back knee, draw back to our down dog. Then we're going to bring our body weight into plank. So we're going to press out through 
those heels, keep those hips nice and lifted and stay strong through the shoulders. Lower the knees to the ground, keep the elbows tucked in as we start to lower the chest to the ground. Sweeping up, keep those hips grounded, soft cobra, relax shoulders down. Exhaling, back down. Inhale, you can come back into a child's pose. Then inhale all fours, exhale back into your down dog. We're going to draw this left foot up to the sky and then we're going to draw that left foot up to your left hand, grounding through that right knee, inhaling up and back down into prayer. One more time, grounding those hands, curl the back toes, lift the back knee. Let's move back to our down dog and let's flow back into that plank, lowering down. You might want to move into a harder variation like full chaturanga up dog. Exhaling, you can come maybe back into plank this time, back into your down dog. Step or jump your feet to the front of the fat mat, forward fold. Inhaling, coming up. Back into prayer. Just close your eyes. Take a few breaths. Feel the subtle changes already in your body. Feel that energy moving. Feel how that mind fog has lifted. The breath is clearer. Let's do a couple of more, inhaling and exhale, folding forward. Lifted chest or back into your number seven. Exhale, back into your forward fold. This time we're gonna step our left foot back. We're gonna turn our left foot to the long side of the mat. Then we're gonna fan open our arms. So the heel of this front foot should line up with the arch of that back foot. Extend those hands out, soften through the shoulders. Imagining that we have a wall behind us now. Okay, so we're gonna slide our torso along that wall. Then we're gonna tilt it. We're gonna take our right hand into that inner part of the leg. Left hand draws up towards the sky. You can bring your hand onto your hip as well. Your gaze can be down, straight ahead or up, depending on how your neck is. Breathing. Inhaling up. Exhale, we're going to lunge into this front leg. You might have to wriggle that foot a little further forward to make sure we stay safe through that front knee. We're going to inhale our hands up and exhaling down. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Relax the left hand down, right hand reaches up, coming into a nice side stretch. Inhale, coming back. So inhale to prepare, then once again we're going to slide against our wall. We are going to rest our forearm onto that thigh. We don't want to be heavy through it, we just want to be using it as a little lever. Then we're going to reach this left hand up and over. Keep the face soft, keep the breath flowing. Inhale, exhale, grounding those hands. Pivot on that back foot and then step back into your down dog. Moving into down uh, plank, lowering down, soft cobra, up dog, exhaling. You can come into child's pose all back into that plank. And then we're going to move into the other. So we are going to draw our right foot up and step our right foot to the front of the mat and then turn both feet actually to face the long side of the mat. Inhaling up and then exhaling, drawing the hands back and we're going to lengthen out through that left foot to the short end of the mat. 
Inhale, using our warm. Inhaling up, lunging into warrior two. Really relax those shoulders down in this warrior two. We want the armpits to be stacked on top of the hips. So there's no pivoting or tilting of the torso in this pose. Inhale, relax that right hand down, left hand reaches up. Inhale, back to warrior two. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to move into our side angle pose. Inhale, grounding the hands, pivot on that back foot. Step back into your down dog. And then move into your plank. Lowering down. This time we're gonna come back into that child's pose. Just rest the activities of the mind onto the mat here. Inhale, all fours. Exhale, back into your down dog. And step or jump your feet to the front of the mat. Inhaling up and exhaling down. So hopefully you're all really nice and warm now. Because this is only a short class, we just busted out some sun salutes just to get the whole body flowing. Now we're gonna kind of ground everything down. So we're gonna do one nice little balancing pose and then we'll move back down onto the mat and come to a closure with our practice. So we're amongst this beautiful setting with all these beautiful trees. So I feel inspired to do the tree pose this afternoon. But before we jump into it, let's get the foundation of this pose correct. So just bring your feet underneath your hips and we wanna explore the base of the foot. So we wanna lift those toes and just wriggle your foot around. And you'll experience that there's actually a natural tripod under the foot. There's a point underneath your big toe, your little toe, and your heel. So we really want to ground down through those points and then let's spread those toes out. Then we want to have this sensation of drawing and activating everything. So we want to take the kneecaps and we really want to engage through the kneecaps. We want to hug those thigh muscles onto the bones, pretending like we're zipping up some jeans, lifting up through the pelvic floor, drawing up through the chest, roll the shoulders up, back and down. And through the roof of our mouth, we want to lengthen up as well as the crown of our head. So just let's bring our hands to the side here and then draw the hands out. And then back in, just taking this opportunity to close our eyes and really feel that connection with the ground beneath us. Take your hands onto your hips now and bring your body weight over towards the right side, coming onto the ball of that left foot. I want us to pivot this knee and hip out first before we move into the pose. So as we do so, we keep our hands onto our hips to make sure that our hips are actually even. So we can bring the heel of that left foot onto the ankle of the right. We can bring it onto the calf muscle or we can draw it into the inner thigh as well. So just choose a position that allows you just to be able to ease into the pose. Just avoid contact with the knee at all times. 
So once you have that sole of the foot planted, take your hands back onto your hips. Just check that you don't have, say, one hip drawing up. We want them nice and even. Your hands can come into prayer, or you can inhale and extend those branches of those trees up. Relax through those shoulders. Inhale, exhale, releasing. And then relaxing that leg down. You might like to walk the legs out. Okay, having that nice drawing up sensation, coming onto the ball of that right foot, turning and pivoting out, and then coming on into that pose. Hands come into prayer or extended out and up. Breathing, focusing. These poses are great for focusing the mind. And if you have your hands up, just releasing them back down and gradually releasing out of the pose. Just give the legs a little shake if you have to. And then we're going to make our way uh, onto the mat. So if you've got a strap handy or a belt, um, please go and grab it. We're just going to do uh, a pose with this now. So we want to lengthen out through our arms so our arms are nice and straight. Shoulders are relaxed. We want to inhale the hands up and over. This is a great pose for modern life. We're always hunched over, texting on our phones, on our computer, driving the car. So it just really helps to open things up. Inhale and exhale and releasing. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Great. Then we're going to draw that left hand out to the side and we're going to draw um, our hand onto our left side of the head. We're going to inhale and as we exhale, we're just going to release the head over towards the right. Breathing through the side neck area. You might need to kind of just play around with the angle of your head just to get that perfect stretch that's right for you. Inhaling up, right hand down, left hand above right ear, guiding that head down to the side. Feels so good. And then inhaling up. We're going to press the hands as if we're putting pressing between two walls. And then we're going to cross the left hand over the right. Now, some of you might just draw the backs of your hands together. Some of you might be able to pivot your hands, either taking hold around the wrist or the actual palms. So we're just gonna draw the elbows up towards our shoulder height and draw them away from the body. And then just start to rotate in a nice circular rotation. This is great for releasing all that built up tension through the shoulders. One way and back the other way. And then we're going to release the hands and we're gonna interlace them. And then we're gonna draw them in towards the body and away. Now, some of you, your range might just be here. That's totally cool. Just work with where your body is at. And 
and then we're going to draw our arms up to shoulder height, relax through the shoulders and just move from side to side. And then coming back, releasing and then pressing those hands out. This time we're going to cross the right over the left, pivoting, drawing elbows up and away and just working through. And then back the other way. And then coming back, interlacing the hands, releasing through. And then drawing up and side to side. And releasing one more time, interlacing the hands behind our head. Take a nice inward breath. As we exhale, we're just going to drop the chin and allow the elbows just to draw towards the direction of each other. Just feeling that nice stretch or across the top of the shoulders. Inhaling up and exhaling, making an L shape with your forearms and your upper arms. We're going to inhale, draw the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, drop them down. One more time. Great. Bringing the soles of our feet together now. Making sure that we're nice and grounded through the sitting bones. So if you need to move the flesh away from your bottom, then please do so. And we want to stay nice and um, lengthened through the spine here. So for some of you, this might be enough. If you find that your knees are somewhere like up here, then um, I just suggest you stay in a nice lengthened position. If you're finding that you have a bit more mobility through this area of your body, join with me as we take a nice inhalation. And as we exhale, we're going to lead through the heart and just come into a slight forward fold. Soften through the face, allow the spine and the neck just to be in line. And then slowly inhaling, coming up. And we're just going to make our way to the ground. We're going to do two more poses and then move into some relaxation and some kiritan to end with. So just rolling onto your bottom, soles of your feet onto the mat and just extending those hands out in front of you, softening through the shoulders and just using the strength of our um, core. We're just going to start to roll back one vertebra at a time. And then reach our hands up and over, extending the legs out. Just like we're waking up in the morning and we're going for a nice stretch out of the bed. Inhale. Oh. Exhale and relaxing. We're going to bring the soles of our feet onto the mat now. And we're going to take um, this left heel onto the right knee. We're going to inhale and we're going to lift that right sole of the foot off the ground. Either take hold around the back of that thigh or around the front of the knee. I want you to choose a hand position that actually allows your shoulder blades to be grounded and the lower back to be grounded also. So just breathing, flexing those toes of the left foot back towards the knee to keep it safe. Draw the chin in slightly so there's length through the back of the neck. And just be mindful that you don't start to bring that body weight over towards the left. Mm. 
as the body starts to respond and starts to ease up, just try and draw that right knee in towards the body a little further and that left knee away from the body. Inhale, exhale, releasing. Then we're gonna take this heel and we're gonna draw it up towards that right buttocks. Now to the best of your body's ability, we wanna line up that left knee with the left hip bone. So this is option one. Option two is you can lift this right sole of the foot off the ground. And option three is you can interlace around that right knee as well. Breathing and really feel for it before you move through those different options. Don't overdo it in any way. Inhale, exhale, releasing. And then we're gonna unthread, we're gonna cross this leg over to the right, bring our hands out to a T. Inhale to prepare, exhale, we're gonna release the legs over towards the right hand side. The gaze is up to the sky or over towards that left hand, depending on how comfortable that is for your neck. Inhaling up, untwisting. Now we're gonna take that right ankle onto the left knee and we're gonna repeat all that on the opposite side. Taking some nice deep breaths. And as we start to wind down for our practice, just checking in that our we're here on our practice still. Maybe we've drifted away. Maybe we're starting to think about what's to come in the next part of our day. If you have drifted off, just come on back. Inhale, exhale, drawing the heel up towards the bottom. Left side, that right knee with the hip and moving through those options that work for your body. Inhale, exhale, releasing, unthreading, crossing this right leg over, hands come out to a T. Inhale to prepare, exhale, and release your legs to the left hand side. Turn your head to the right. And uncrossing. And then you can just stay lying down here, releasing those legs out and getting ready for our yoga nidra. So make sure you're nice and comfortable. Just walking those shoulder blades down and in. So there's a nice openness through your chest. And just relax your limbs out by your side. Draw your chin in slightly and just start to soften the muscles around your face. And for the next few moments, just allowing your mind to rest on these beautiful sacred sounds that are being played in the background. And just let these yoga mantras just transport you to a place of deep rest and peace. There's no where you need to be right now but here. Just relax and enjoy this moment of just simply being. And 
and gradually in your own time just slowly start to awaken your body with ease and awareness there's no rush just take your time just feeling the nice influence that your practice has had over you and now we are going to come into a seated position and I'm going to lead you through some beautiful kirtan meditation to complete our practice. So this is actually my favorite part of the yoga class is this mantra meditation. So I'm going to say um, the yoga mantra. We're going to do Om Hari Om and you just rest in it and then you respond back. So we exchange the mantra to each other. Just closing your eyes and taking a few nice, deep, long, relaxing breaths in and out. Just feeling the influence of your practice, feeling how your body is more comfortable. The mind has grounded down and that inner peace has just started to wash over your heart. So thank you so much and namaste.